Okay, people, My Hero Academia fandom has been going crazy over the last week or so after the events of Chapter 321, with Class 1A continuing their attempt to retrieve Deku, or ultimately, at the very least, have him embrace them and joining in his quest to hunt down All for One and all of that jazz. But in particular, one of the things that was really heavily a focal point that people were writing articles about, all sorts of stuff, is Mineta, the character Mineta and his essential confession to Deku that a lot of people have taken it um, to a certain degree in a romantic light after this chapter and it's definitely very interesting. Now I want to say one of the things is the fact that the overall story right now everything that's going on is a lot bigger than something like that because at the end of the day like it to me it's already solidified of a Deku x Ochako and I don't see Deku kind of reciprocating those feelings towards Mineta if I'm wrong I'm wrong but I highly doubt that because it's been hinted since the very beginning that it's Deku x yeah Ochako I don't see Deku looking at Mineta in that light in any fashion or any dude for that matter in that light and also you could throw the argument in there as well that probably people are looking at it a little bit too hardcore because uh you know I'll take you back a little bit I'll take you back to the Naruto fandom right and trust me I have a point with this. I know you're probably thinking, why are you bringing up Naruto right now? We're talking about Hero Academia. I have a point in all this. One of the things that was very heavy and an undertone of fandom in Naruto was the Fujoshi. Now, if you don't know what the word Fujoshi means, it was basically a lot of girls that were constantly pairing Naruto X Sasuke. That was an undertone of fandom that actually very heavily supported the series uh, because they really wanted to see that pairing. And there was a lot of moments where, you know, Naruto would say, our bond, our, our deepness, you know, our deepening bond and all of that jazz and I care about him and a lot of the Fujoshi would take that as oh my god Naruto you know his feelings for Sasuke are so strong or I'm sure even the Fujoshi probably felt the same way when Sasuke reciprocated at the end of Naruto of how he felt about Naruto but it's more so just like really deep and a, a different understanding of how you really feel about each other it's not necessarily that Naruto x Sasuke was ever going to happen but it was just that they had this bond and you know just kind of expressing feelings in a different manner not necessarily romantic so you take that idea take that whole mindset right and bring it to my hero academia and to be honest with you that's kind of how i feel it is like that's what i feel was the intent from horikoshi maybe i'm wrong maybe mineta actually is going that way for deku or whatever but we haven't even seen mineta kind of be that way either like he's more so been after busty women but hey you never know maybe that was the intent but ultimately i've just seen articles like i'm gonna read one right here that kind of had me like blown away because let's not forget that while that is happening the overall story right now is very very grand so we're on this quest Deku's on this quest to find all for one get information stop the league of villains he's trying to protect UA and all of these great and huge things interesting things are going down yet the fandom is focusing on Mineta Mineta and sausage party like <laughs> It's fucking crazy. It's crazy because like, yo, pairings, yo, that's your prerogative and that's what you're looking at. And ultimately, it kind of felt that way. Because I'll be honest with you, when I read the line at first, I thought to myself, yo, little sus there, a little bit sus, Mineta. But fam, that's not going to be the topic of conversation for me for this chapter. I'm going to be talking about, holy shit, you know, there was a really epic moment with Ochaku and Deku. And, you know, uh, Ida and Deku. Ida looked great because the art in this chapter was awesome. It just was like, I don't understand how Hodako should be doing these shits in a week. He must spend days. And night, every hour, every second that he is awake, he must spend drawing because there's just phenomenal panels of Deku and, and Ida and Ida's face. There was like a close-up there. Like, there was just so many good points of Deku going through it in this chapter. But the conversation throughout the entire week that I just kept on seeing over and over pop up on my timeline on Twitter, articles popping up and shit like that, was about Mineta x Deku. Let's read this. This one comes from comicbook.com. It says, My Hero Academia fans have some big questions about Mineta's sexuality. My Hero Academia fans have some big questions about Minoru Mineta's sexuality following the newest chapter of the series. The manga is currently in its most intense arc yet as Izuku Midoriya has separated himself
himself from not only his former classmates, but All Might and the other pro heroes lately as well. This all changed with the newest string of chapters that have pit Izuku against his former classmates in an attempt to save the young hero from destroying himself, and one particular plea definitely caught the most attention from fans due to its wording in the newest chapter of the series. Yes, we are gathered here today in honor of Mineta Minoru. The boy may not be one of the powerhouses in Class 1A, but he does get a lot of attention. Sadly for him, the attention is never a good thing, and many fans have longed for My Hero Academia to write Mineta out entirely. When? Since when have anybody said, yo, get Mineta out of here? Like, he's been absolutely hilarious. He's been a lot of people's favorite character, for that matter, because he's so damn funny, and he comes in at the right time with the right little quirky line. His obnoxious personality and perverted tendencies have made him few fans, but the manga did something with Mineta no one ever expected, and this was a comment, I think, on, like, day that the chapter came out from a fan. I want to say it's maybe even a Japanese fan, for that matter. They said, wow, never would I have thought Mineta would use the word, and then they used uh, some kanji there, if I'm not mistaken, is that cut? No, that's hiragana and kanji. Fall for you, fall in love with you, be enamored when talking about Deku, but that's pretty cool character development. And what might that be? The most recent My Hero Academia update seems to imply Mineta is queer. During chapter 321, fans have watched as Mineta made his own plea to Izuku as the whole of Class 1A tried to bring their friend home. And in order to help Izuku, Mineta opened up about his feelings for the boy. In English, the moment is intimate enough as Mineta says Izuku's power is not what makes him awesome. I fell for you when you were scared and sweating buckets and quaking in your boots. And that was the line when I first read that in English. I was like, little sus. But like, you know, again, I, I was just like, whatever. That's usually how the Japanese express extreme emotion, even if it's between two dudes, two women. And I also want to stress as well, one thing real quick before anybody takes this the wrong way. If that is what it is, it is what it is. I'm not like, oh, against it. Like, oh my God, get that out of my manga or anything like that. If that's Horikoshi's intent, by all means, express yourself. But I'm just saying that I kind of saw it as like a passing line that felt a little extreme. But ultimately, I just kept moving because I was like, hey, you know, whatever. So want to be clear on that one. How would things get more intimate in the Japanese translation? Kohei Horikoshi used the phrase in his script, which again is the Japanese text, and that means to fall for or to be enamored with a person. In Japan, this phrase is used more often in a romantic context. In rare cases, the phrase can be used platonically to show the utmost admiration, so fans are left wondering how they should interpret this take. Of course, some My Hero Academia fans have latched on to Mineta being bisexual or queer at the most vague. This kind of representation is craved by so many, and the script is ambiguous and Enough to allow this interpretation. Others aren't quite convinced, but the fandom isn't about to let bisexual erasure reign on Mineta needlessly. So if you interpret the pro hero as being part of the LGBTQ community, you gotta do you. And yeah, fan, it's kind of crazy that in 2021 and like the finale of the arc of My Hero Academia, like, you know, we're going into the finale. This has been announced to be the final arc. Now, I don't know of the series or just of this part of whatever the case may be, this is supposed to be. We're heading towards a climax and the climax that motherfuckers want to see is coming from Mineta onto Deku. Like, Nani sore? I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 wild right here, man. My Hero Academia fans are wilding out, lad. But I'm very curious what you guys think of this whole situation. For starters, how do you interpret that line between Mineta and Deku? Also, how do you feel about, in general, the topic of conversation being that in the midst of this really emotional moment? Because again, let's not forget that this is these students begging and pleading with Deku in their utmost way, trying to change his mind. Mind, but yet the conversation going into that because again like yo there's very very high stakes here and Dever showing up and allowing the students because he feels they're the ones that are capable of changing his mind you got Sue you got Chaco you got that really amazing moment that was just so beautifully drawn even the hands them in the air and everything between Deku and Ida that shit looked phenomenal that should be the topic of conversation right now hey if you want to be a side conversation then so be it because again the story right now is about them trying to retrieve Deku not about Mineta <laughs> opening up to Deku and shit like that so yeah and your overall thoughts and expectations from My Hero Academia for 322 and beyond. I will give a more extensive breakdown of this chapter um, when the next chapter comes out in unison. I'll talk about them, but I just wanted to touch up on this one and say, My Hero Academia fans, stick a little to the script and talk a little more about what's actually going on in the grand scheme of things. All for one is not going to stop his dastardly deeds for a potential subplot of Deku x Mineta that was never actually even established to begin with, and I honestly think that this was just, in general, Mineta saying with the utmost respect of how he feels about Deku in terms of you're a great guy. But that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you want more from me, make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Hit that bell to get all notifications. And if you want to follow any of my other social media, links are in the description below. I'm from the world. And as always, people, have an awesome day. And remember the golden rule. Anime. 
and manga. All life, boy! Have an awesome day. Peace in. And yeah, I I'm pretty sure it's going to end up Deku x Uraraka. Like, just saying. Like, I don't know. And if, hey, again, if that turns out to be the case that Mineta does feel that way for Deku, by all means. I'm not against whatever. That's his character. I'm just saying that I don't know if that should be the center focal point topic of conversation in the midst of this gigantic climax that we're in right now. Have an awesome one. <laughs>